All right, YouTube, what is up? Welcome back to the channel. So, today is the day. We're gonna do it. We're gonna start modding the Sweetwater exclusive strat to turn it into a Tom DeLonge strat. So, got the strat. We've all seen this guitar already. Now, I'll show you some of the stuff that came in. So, first off and most importantly, we have our Seymour Duncan Invader Humbugger. Gotta have one of those. Went ahead and got a 500K Mojo Tone pot. So we're gonna, we're gonna rip out both the pots that are in there. We're only gonna replace the volume pot. Uh, we're not gonna have a tone at all. We're just gonna go, just like Tom's, straight pick up volume pot, input jack, that's it. Um, we got some chrome, some chrome like Telecaster style knobs because that's what Tom has on his. And I'm not actually going to paint the racing stripe on the guitar. That would be cool, but I'm not going to do that. We got some racing stripe decals. And we also got some cool Masonic fretboard decals. So, we're going for the Boxcar Racer I Feel So video strat. So, let's just jump right into it. Let's go. Alright guys, so we got the strat port part. Let's see what we got going on here. So, we got these tiny little alpha pots. And, you know, they're not bad, but the pot that we're going to put in, it's a much higher quality pot, and it's going to sound a lot better. And, like I said in the previous video, if I had to guess, I'm betting that, that these are 250k pots. And, for a guitar with a pickup like, like this Invader in it, we really need a, a 500k pot. It's just going to make it sound so much better. So, that's what I got. That's what we're going to do there. We're going to just get rid of the tone pot altogether. We don't need it. We're not about that here. Um interesting route going on in this body got this <clears throat> gigantic route here there's see if you can see this there's like i mean i know this is a squire i'm not trying to be overly critical but see there's like a sawdust they didn't even clean it out look it's like caked in sawdust and stuff in there so i might uh i might try to get some of that out of there clean it up a little bit so, yeah, that's what the inside of it looks like. Now let's start tearing stuff out. All right, we got the old pickup and pots out, and you can see just how tiny these pots are. So, I've already run into my first problem, if you will, but it's not really a problem because I expected it and I have a solution for it, so not a big deal. But the new pot, it's much bigger and the shaft is a lot bigger and it will not fit in the pit guard so again I kind of suspected that that would be the case so we're gonna just take a reamer and we're gonna ream this hole out and we're gonna make it fit that new pot all right there's the reamer I didn't have it on me uh, around here I had to go find it somewhere I forgot where I put it but yep there's the reamer and time to make that hole bigger all right that was pretty easy you know plastic doesn't uh give a lot of resistance so that hole roomed out pretty quickly got the pot in there got the invader mounted now we're gonna wire it up okay so a little bit about wiring here this is a very simple wire job so seymour duncan pickups are a little goofy though their lead wire is black which is a little funky but that's the the that's the hot this wire here you have a green wire and a bare wire so you twist them together and solder them that's going to be our ground wire and then this red wire and this white wire are for coil splitting which we are not doing I, i'm not doing that on this guitar so all you're going to do there is twist them together solder them together and then tape them off with some electrical tape so they don't do anything and then it's just wiring it to this pot. I mean, it's 
it's about the most straightforward kind of uh, wire job you can do on a guitar. So it goes pretty quick. All right, guys, here we are. So like I was talking about, we got those cool split wires taped off so I don't do anything. Got the input jack wired in. We got our bridge ground wired in. So now let's do a little test here. We got it hooked up to my computer. <laughs> and here we go. Great. That's what we want to hear. So everything should be good. So yeah, very, very simple wire job on this guy. Let's see if we can flip it around here. Ugh. Alrighty. Cool. Let's see if see if the pot works. Great. Awesome. Alright. He's alive. Now let's move on to these decals. Alright. We got our scissors. We got our section cut out. So I test fitted one of these on one of my Les Pauls when I first got these decals in. They're a little funky, but they stick really well. So I guess we'll just go for it, right? So this is the trick is you got to get the decal to stick to the top part while you pull the backer off of it. If you don't, you're going to have a bad time. All right. There we go. side straighter I know I want to line this bottom part up with the strap button I wonder how far over I want it that looks about good This is tricky and you don't get a lot of shots at it. Kind of really only get one or uh, can we get them off of here. All right, cool. I want it to come down a little more. That's it. We got it. Oh yeah. Work all the bubbles out. Oh yeah. I'm gonna curl this top part around. Alright guys, as you can see, these go on exactly the same way that this one went on. They have like a, a backer part and then a front part and you, you do it exactly the same way we do the other one. So I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna video me doing every one of these because this is gonna take a minute. <laughs> Alright guys, last one, here we go.
These things have been ridiculous. <laughs> Make sure it's, this one's going to be the hardest one too because it's so daggum small. There we go. Make sure that is on there good. Alright, here we go. Boom. All right. Well, let's get some strings on this thing and see how it sounds with this invader in it. feel about the Squire Tom Strat build. Um, it's a real cool little guitar. Um, the neck feels great. Uh, you know, in a previous video I'd mentioned that I had to, I really like sanded the neck down some and steel wooled it and polished it and oiled it. And so the neck on this guitar feels really good now. Um, I mean it just, I mean it looks the part, it sounds the part, the Invader sounds great. I absolutely Love the way it sounds. Yeah, I mean, I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, would I do it again? Yeah, absolutely. Um, I think this is a really cool way for you to take a inexpensive guitar and kind of do something unique with it. You know, I mean, there's eh, there's a dime a dozen Squire Strats out there, and that doesn't mean they're bad guitars or anything, but you know. I mean, how many Squire Strats have you seen, right? Like, they're just, they are what they are. They do what they do. They're pretty good at it. But this is a way to kind of inexpensively personalize your uh, your Squire Strat. And, you know, if you're at a show or something and somebody sees this, they're going to go, hey, man, that's kind of different. Like, that isn't just a regular Squire Stratocaster. So, pretty cool little guitar. Um, You know... Am I going to keep it forever? I don't know. Maybe. Maybe not. We'll see. Um, you know, I'd like to do some more builds like this and some other things, so who knows. But uh, right now I'm enjoying it, and I got it set up with 9.5s to 46s on it. Kind of a weird gauge. Uh, it's just a gauge I've kind of settled on for my 25.5 inch scale guitars in standard tuning. I really like them. They're the Ernie Ball Turbo Slinkies. I think that's what they are, so. Yep. There he is. The Boxcar Racer Tom DeLong Squire Strat build. Hope you guys liked the video. Hope you liked the demo. Um, hit the subscribe button, comment, like, all that YouTube stuff. And uh, thank you guys, and I'll be back again next week.